What's up guys? It's been a while. So I'm gonna do a video today on how to train your legs after your ruptured Achilles injury. I am nine months uh, non-op. I think this will help some people how to train around an injury. I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll show you what you can do to try to strengthen your Achilles, strengthen your calf, get a little bit of uh, better range of motion. And yeah, I'll see you inside. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is leg extensions because it's not any pressure on your Achilles. You can go nice and light if you need to. Rest the pad on your ankles or you can rest it on your shins if you don't want to put any pressure on your ankle. And just go nice and light and then just pump out 10 or 12 and do about 4 sets or less if you can't. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave To the system, I don't want so the nice thing about doing a leg extension is that the pad is on the front using the front of your leg working your quads and there's no pressure on your Achilles Okay, next exercise we're going to do is leg press We've got two different leg press machines at our gym The one where the weight comes straight down and we've got this one where the weight comes up where you're lifting the weight But this works nicely because you are pushing you're getting a little bit of tension on your Achilles you just want to go very lightly in the beginning so maybe even just leave it without weights on put your legs up high bring your legs down not too far down just get a small range of motion and get your legs working get those quads working but keep your Achilles safe do it slowly if it starts hurting then uh, stop doing it or make the weight less if it's too heavy Never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Okay, next exercise. I wouldn't recommend this to newly ruptured people. I think at least 20 weeks in, you can attempt this. But uh, I was about 19 weeks in and it was too difficult for me. Put too much pressure on my Achilles and that is hamstring curls. So this is a lying down hamstring curl machine. But uh, we used to have a standing machine in the gym they take another way. So we've adapted the laying down one, put the bar back more and uh, adapted it into a standing hamstring curl. But this places the tension right on your Achilles. So you've got all that weight in your Achilles and you're using your hamstring which pulls down into your calf. So unless you're at an advanced level, I recommend you stay away from this and uh, just focus on your quads for the meantime. Got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. Uh, that's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst thoughts saying, turn them to a game. Take the best thoughts saying. Okay, another good exercise is the abductor machine. This helps work your outer quad, work your glutes. The stronger your glutes are, it puts your body in neutral position. And because your body works on a kinetic chain, the stronger they are, the less pressure there is on the Achilles. So work those glutes, work those quads. It's going to help your Achilles in the long run. Pain. Oh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you find a door. Open it up, and finally explore. Everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh. And even when you feel low, you can still go. Okay, then the last thing we're going to do today, seated calves. This took me quite a few weeks. I think it was week 12 that I started doing these. Just adjust this so that it's a nice height for your legs. 
and I'm on a very very small weight so I did two and a half kilos at first and now I'm on about 10 I might go to 20 I'm just taking it very easy still but this works the soleus muscle which is basically like the stabilizer underneath the gastro muscle which makes your calf strong gets that tendon firing properly again and getting getting that calf muscle to fire and grow again so we're gonna just do a few sets of these and get working the same thing my calf was so weak that I was leaning to my dominant leg that wasn't ruptured and, and raising my calves on an angle so try to focus on standing centered and work that weaker leg even if it means you're not going all the way up just to get that strength and build it over time even if you're just doing one or two resting do another one or two build it up until you can do a full set or you know uh, you can just like not rupture your kidneys and then you know <laughs> avoid all of this <laughs> very true <laughs> wise words <laughs> spoken by someone who's never gone through this <laughs> <laughs> exactly okay so this will officially be my heaviest i've gone 20 kilos since rupturing my kidneys probably go heavier but I'm being very cautious going up very little weights every week just till I feel comfortable because uh, I've also got a 5k run tomorrow so I'm doing a lot so just take one thing at a time instead of doing too much at once okay just to end the leg session I'm gonna do some double end bag this just gets the, the cough firing because I'm jumping around the bag getting those stabilizer muscles working so it's gonna do one round see how it goes cue epic music <laughs> with a few extra things or go a bit heavier but that is basically my leg session obviously I've progressed along the way I didn't do as much and as intense I've also added squats so wherever you are in the journey of your recovery whether it's up or non-op take it easy do things slowly don't push too hard and uh, you will get stronger I mean I'm running 5k's now every week which is great and I wasn't even doing that before I ruptured my Achilles, so just keep pushing. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs>